In this video, we're going to find the equation of the tangent line on an asteroid. So, uh, so these parametric equations here will generate this, uh, this asteroid. We want to find the tangent line at precisely this point here, when, uh, when theta equals pi over 3. So, so to find the, uh, the equation of this tangent line, we will need to know the gradient at this point, the gradient being dy by dx. So to find dy by dx, we would differentiate the y, we would differentiate the y, and then we would differentiate the, the x, and then get one divided by the other. So looking at this, so, uh, so dy by d theta would give us this. So basically, if you differentiate this, it will give you this. And then differentiate this, that will then give us this. And then tidy this up, it gives you this, which is tan theta. So, so the gradient, the gradient is given by by minus tan theta. The gradient is given by minus tan theta. But we need to evaluate it. We need we need to evaluate uh, this thing here. We need to evaluate it at uh, pi over three. At pi over three. So uh, evaluating at pi over three would then give us this. Um, so 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 this is a common angle. So whenever you see tan pi over three, re remember. Um, in radians, all the way here would be pi, pi divided by 3, so this must be 60, so this must be 60 degrees. So when, when, you, um, when you see pi over 3, then think about an equilateral triangle, 2, 2, 2. Draw a straight line down here, this will be 1, this, well, the point is that tan, this is tan, tan pi over 3, which is 60 degrees, is really root 3 over 1. Um, yeah, so, so it would be root 3 over 1, and then you've got your minus, you've got your minus. So, um, so the gradient will be given by this at this point here, at this point here. So now, now that we know the gradient, hang on, now that we know the gradient, so we know the gradient is root 3, negative root 3. So, um, so we would put this into here, that would then take us to, to here. Now, so we are currently here, we know the gradient. We need to know one particular point. So this particular point here is given by by this. So uh, so the x location would be given by this. So cos um, uh, hang on. So cos uh, cos uh, cos pi over three. Well, cos pi over three would be this. Uh, cos pi over three would be one over two. Would be one over two. Uh, and then we've got a qubit here. We've got a qubit, so that would be one over eight. Uh, so, so we would put this into um, into the x. So, hang on, one over eight. We would put this into the x. That so this thing here would then give us this, and then um, and then this this thing here would give us our y location. So sine sine would be this. Sine would be this. Sine would be root sine. Uh, sine pi over 3 would be root 3 over 2, but then we need to cube it right here. So cube this. Uh, this would then give us um, 8 here and uh, 3 root 3. Um, uh, so, so we would put this into the y. So that would then give us this thing here. So now it's just a matter of working out c. So c equals this thing here. So now that we know c, we can put it back into here. So this whole thing here will then become this. So this is the, the equation of our tangent line at that given point. So get a, get a graph plotter and it will look like this. Okay. This so so our tangent line is here. Okay.